Okay, in today's video, we're going to take a look at Apple. I haven't actually looked at this one in a while for uh, the general public. So let me show you what I'm seeing on a weekly chart. And I believe there was a, a downgrade today in this one. And I don't care about that as much as I care about the fact that the prior major rally swing in Apple lasted 106 weeks. And then the rally swing from the May 2016 low has lasted 104 weeks. So this swing is very similar, and this would be considered time resistance to the rally. I mean, obviously, if you don't care if you're sitting through some pullbacks, then, you know, don't worry about this. But um, we are definitely closer to some time resistance and some price resistance. As far as the price resistance, basically the way that the... Um, the market pattern usually shows up is, you know, you buy at the symmetrical pullbacks and then typically you'll see the market extend higher, pull back, extend, pull back, extend. And here, you know, we did pull back into key support and we have it already extended at least to the 1272 extension. Many moves tend to terminate at extensions of prior swings. So that's another reason we're closer to price resistance besides uh, time resistance. So does that mean that you're supposed to short Apple up here? No, but I would absolutely um, ratchet up stops if long. Now, as far as, you know, how tightly you do that, it really depends on the time frame that you're trading and how much risk you're willing to take. I really don't have any good solid support in this one um, until we, the 180 to 184 area on the daily chart. But if that area doesn't hold, then it doesn't come in until 174, 175, or 171, 172 area. So that's what the um, a daily chart's giving me. But for shorter term, those who are shorter term oriented, uh, we've been looking at the 30 minute chart. And I'll tell you this much, if we did hold this support initially, and that would typically target the 1272 extension, we pulled back after that initial low was made, and we're holding on symmetry. And if we continue to, then yeah, we could still look for this upside target. But if we take out this prior low, I would get out of the way if I was shorter term oriented. So again, depends on your time frame, depends on whether you're just, you know, buy and hold. Um, but I am saying that uh, I'm seeing some uh, caution signs, at least on the uh, weekly, daily, and the intraday charts that are telling me to ratchet up stops on any longs.